the perfect morning. Does it exist? Well, with a dash of caffeine and a plate of chocolate, it just might. That's right. Local coffee shops, gourmet roasters, artisan chocolatiers. Daisy Jade is live at the newly established place where they're getting ready for the Pittsburgh Coffee and Chocolate Festival. So, Daisy, you landed the assignment of the day. So tell us more about this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know that you guys wish you were here because look at this amazing spread. We have a ton of chocolate. We have some coffee. But I've got to tell you about the Coffee and Chocolate Festival that is coming up this weekend. It's actually the very first one. We're here with Margo and Jerry, who are with Everest Events Group. And Jerry, I have to admit, everybody loves coffee and chocolate. But why did you guys decide to create a festival? Well, you're right, Daisy. Uh, in Pittsburgh, as you know, we're passionate about our city. We're passionate about our sports teams. We're also passionate about coffee and chocolate, right? Absolutely. So the ability to marry the two of those together and bring those to the public, as well as showcase some local independent uh, businesses, was really the inspiration be behind it all. So uh, we thought, what a great way to do this, uh, again, to bring everybody together, and I think those that are coming are really going to enjoy the day. Uh, we're going to speak some more about some of the vendors coming a little bit later, but we wanted to have this opportunity to ha allow the local businesses to showcase their products. Absolutely. And Margo, you guys have even uh, so many activities planned, but even a VIP section as well that you can enjoy during the festival. We do. So one of our uh, presenting sponsor, Stray Cat Studio with, uh, in Beaver Falls, has handcrafted these VIP mugs that actually have Pittsburgh Cho Coffee and Chocolate Festival on it. Um, that will be part of the VIP package. And we have other events coming up, um, but this is going to be a really exceptional time. We're, we're looking forward to it so much um, and can't wait to, to have everybody taste all this good food and good chocolate. Yeah, these are so cute. I know you guys are going to have like chocolate fountains and all kinds of fun stuff, but please tell us about some of the vendors that are here today. Sure. We have over 40 vendors that will be uh, there at the festival, but today, in order to tease you a little bit and get you excited, we have uh, three of our vendors here. We have Cookie Sensations by Jen. We have JC uh, from Saluna Cafe, uh, Coffee, and we have Mary from Anderson's Candies. Well, I must say, first of all, these are the biggest big Buckeyes I've ever seen in my life, but these chocolates look amazing from Anderson Chocolates. I was looking at the chocolate gummy bears, but we have JC from Saluna Coffee, and thank you so much that you're allowing us to be here, but can you tell us really quickly what these two coffees are and what this delicious looking dessert is? Absolutely, it's our pleasure to have everybody here. It's a great event, it's chocolate, it's coffee. So to your left, that is the flannel latte. It's a flavor of fall. So you have cinnamon, vanilla, maple, coffee what more do you need to your right is the uh, spin on the traditional so you know the pumpkin latte we make it directly from pumpkin there's no artificial flavors no artificial uh, no artificial flavors no artificial ingredients it's all 100 percent natural made at home from by our master barista and right in front of you you'll have a chocolate espresso cheesecake and a flourless chocolate cake all courtesy of our chef mike so coffee and chocolate right there i love it Especially that one mixes in the coffee and the chocolate all together. Well, this looks amazing. I heard that Jen has a special surprise for I haven't seen this yet, but this is all for us at PTL, apparently. I am. <gasps> Look at how cute. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I love that. Do you guys see that at home? Oh, that is Look incredible. Oh, my gosh. So cute. Oh, we Look, love David, that. It's oh, my gosh. Look, David, and a little Mikey. Oh. oh, my gosh. Oh, Daisy, Look at you have to thank them for is. us. That is how fantastic. Cute. I just want to <clears throat> bite my head yeah, off. Yeah, we'll and definitely yours. have to bring those back to the studio. <laughs> That's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. Thank you That's so awesome. much, everybody. And you guys have to all check out the Coffee and Chocolate Festival. Thank you all so much. It's at the Hollywood Casino this weekend. Enjoy. This tastes a lot like fall. We're going to be snacking over here. Oh, All right. Thanks, good, Daisy. Daisy. I mean, you combine chocolate and coffee together. I mean, you would have a real, like, high that day. Yeah. No, that's it's a rush. wonderful combination. And Daisy's restraint, like all that whole table out <laughs> like, there, she was just sipping on a little bit of the, the coffee. Good. Yeah. All right. Time to dig in, Daisy, and bring those cookies back. <laughs> yeah. Again, the Pittsburgh Coffee and Chocolate Festival is happening Saturday at the Hollywood Casino in Washington County. And go to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have a link with more info for you. Yeah.